writers, you're going to come across words that you don't know. And ultimately, we have to use context clues or look up the definition of the word. Here is an example of the word grit. Next to the word grit, it shows how you would pronounce it. And it's exactly the way that it's written. A lot of times you'll see different symbols there that you might not recognize in the English language um, because it might pertain to a different type of language, but it's just showing you what that sound would be to decode it. Next to the word grit, you're also going to see an N in parentheses. N stands for noun, and then you're going to see the number one and a definition. And then if you look below that, you'll see two and a definition. And then it changes again with different parentheses with a V, which means verb and one more definition. So this word grit has three different definitions. So you have to make sure when you're looking through a word and you see it in a sentence and you don't know what it means and you look it up, you have to make sure that you think which one of these definitions matches to it accurately. So we could think of what part of speech is this word? Well, the parentheses indicate that it is a noun and it's also a verb. So in this case, we would circle noun and verb. If we're looking at how many meanings does this word have, we see one and two in the nouns and then there's also one in the verbs. So it has three different meanings. The last question said, what meaning of grit is used in the sentence? You need grit and determination to work through hard things. The first definition that's a noun says tiny rough bits of sand or stone. I can even plug that into the word grit. You need tiny rough bits of sand and stone and determination to work through hard things. I don't think you need stones to work through hard things obstacles in your life. So one noun would not be it, or the first noun would not be it. The second noun definition says toughness of character, courage. You need toughness of character or courage and determination to work through hard things. That makes sense to me, but I want to make sure that's the right one. On the verb definition, it says to bite down and grind together. You need to bite down and grind together determination to work through hard things. That doesn't really make sense, biting down and grinding things to make sure that you get that determination to work through it. I believe, based on the different definitions, that the second noun definition is going to be that answer. So I would circle noun two or in two. Writers, please make sure you notice what I just did. I went through, I thought about the parts of speech. It'll indicate if it's an adjective, adverb, noun, verb, whatever that part of speech may be. It'll have multiple meanings a lot of times, and it's important to know what that meaning is in my sentence. And the best way to do that is to look at the sentence, use context clues, plug in those definitions, and figure out which one flows or makes the most sense.